These are going to be the last two series of the group stage, effectively. And by then, we'll know how many tiebreakers we're going to have. From these two teams' perspectives, Liquid is top of the group. Just need one to ensure that they stay top of the group. Wait, did they get all four? No, there's still one to come. And actually, First Blood's going to come out. So, Parker gets Zai. Boxy kills Parker. All right, Stinger's going to end up snagging the fourth bounty, at least. In power level. Is Dark Mago dropped off a bit since you talked about that it should be going that direction for Death Prophet. As Nisha's going to get some help from Boxy. Gets off the Hex, and there's the Impale to follow. Easy pickoff. And now Nisha with the level six. Yep. Yeah. Oh, the Echo Stomp is coming! Uh-oh, Dark Mago. Okay, he still gets it. He doesn't have Searing Chains at all. Impale now to Dark Mago. The Exo is popped as well. Dark Mago is still only level 5. He just TP'd back and dies again. That is just awful for him. Impale is going to catch the ET as well. And that should spell the Doom. Exo again. Dark Mago. I don't know if he can defend this as the Exos continue to do a lot of damage to the tower. They're going to find the Skyra. A very easy pickoff as Schofield will melt under the pressure. Wukong's command comes out as the rotation from Parker has arrived. Insania might be the only one they can snag, though. Blood Grenade onto Nisha. Just misses. As the Onslaught is coming for Nisha, they do find him in the end. Impale to follow. And the Finger to be able to get the kill on Sacred. So not the way that Beast Coast was planning that as Nisha... Still very healthy. Applying all the pressure now to Stinger and to Dark Mago. Has to get out with his remnants again. Another Crypt Swarm will finish off Stinger or just the right click even. As Nisha uh, won't be able to find the distance this time. Stinger. Yep. Sacred coming in. Echo Stomp is there. Sacred kind of stuck on a weird side of the cliff here. But he's going to get the trample with the uproar. And that ends up being a very easy kill. On a very important target for Beast Ghost. That's... Go field, gonna break the smoke and take the gank. Oh, might be able to live. No, Spirit Siphon just in range to finish him off as Sacred, trying to take out some creeps in the meantime. Just attempting to go for this tier one tower, but he's gonna get caught out. Echo Stomp not gonna hit anybody. Does have Onslaught available for Sacred. Do they have the stun lock though? The silence comes out, but he already gets the Onslaught off, which means he has to use the max duration, but he still gets away. As Nisha. About 60 gold away from having Boots of Travel. Stinger, he's going to get a toast. This will provide the Boots of Travel for Nisha, almost certainly, as the Tombstone placed on the cliff, just in case Beast Coast wanted to do something about it. Dark Mago's thinking about it. Echo Stomp in the top lane. Zai. Parker's here as well, and Ember Spirit on the way. ET ult. Does not hit. Wukong's command is able to sidestep pretty nicely. Still has the Ravage, of course. But the sound's coming from Nisha with the Boots of Travel being shown. Gets off the Ravage with the Meteor Hammer to follow Jim. Park <laughs> trying to heal himself up. He's doing a decent job on Insania, but does end up falling in the end along with the Ember Spirit. God damn that name. I swear to God. Atos <laughs> from Nisha as Schofield... Will be able to get out this time, but two cores dead for Beast Coast, completely punished on their attempt to kill Zai. Yep, Insania will be the sacrifice in the end, but still, 7k lead for Liquid. One of the better teams at holding their leads as well. Insania. He's spotted out. He's going to get pulverized and probably will left his own devices. Mickey does have Stone Gaze to try to save him potentially. We'll just use the Mystic Snake along with his Manta. Jim, Jim Park. Ah, I'm just going to call him Jim Park. I don't even give a shit anymore. Yeah. Very he has fuck you written, written on his... Boxy gets the Hex off. Atos to follow. Not even needing the Meteor Hammer. Boxy's finger rips right through him. That's the third stack. So 120 speaking, bonus speaking damage fingers, already. Would have gotten it. Yeah, yeah I, I think Sacred? it is a, a minus Ooh. type of battle period. Hex Sacred. mid onslaught. A toast as well. He's pretty healthy though. He's kind of tanky. Trying to TP out, but the Ravage comes through. And Zai will make sure that Sacred does not get away. That took them so long. Gracious. 
Just don't have damage without Mickey around. And he Honestly, did not go he Butterfly second item. He went Diffusal, actually. Wow. Diffusal? Wow. Is he thinking he's fighting against a Medusa? Dark Mago. <laughs> Initiated on. Now silenced. Atos. They don't have Impale, though. So he might be able to just remnant out. And indeed, he does just that. Uh, so they're split up. And Beast Ghost took advantage of it. Beast Ghost actually played this last few minutes very well. I mean, as long as Dark Mago does not go down here. Oh, they have Impale, though. And he will go down. Fourth Never mind. finger of the game. Stuck around was, a little bit too yeah. long. Cocky boy. Okay. Shouldn't have done that. Tell me about this defusal. I am struggling here. He's going to inhibit Schofield. He has his own slow. It's utility. Okay. As he says. Sit there, drain his mana, and maybe he can't remnant away. So it's not a bad defusal game. He's also just leading, so he can build whatever the hell he wants. Uh oh. Jim Park is in trouble. Hexed, impaled, silenced. Trying to fight his way through this. ET ult is coming, though, to try to help him out. Jim Park is dead. His ult did go off, by the way, in case you were wondering. It is on cooldown now. Attempting to get out of dodge. They are really getting owned by the silence. They need some dispels for sure. Not seeing that with Roche very often anymore, though, which makes me sad. No. All right, Butterfly now intact. 24 seconds. <laughs> Scofield just dies right on the doorstep of his own base. Uh, yeah. DKB is not quite done on Monkey King. Ember, no. same story. Yeah, they're, they're too close. And uh, he's also got two Rapiers queued up on Jim Park, so they're looking uh, for desperate <laughs> measures here. Of course, this With is Parker. Cleave. So you never know if he's serious. That's, that's one issue there. Yep, so the barracks will be taken successfully. Boxy trying to get off a kill with his finger. Not going to find it in the end as Sacred wants to try to defend now. Despite his barracks already being dead, he pops a BKB. Does find Boxy as Mickey will be getting the stone gaze off to hold Sacred in his place. Working on the rape here. He is going to go alone on Insania. Yeah. His BKB just delivers. He's decayed. He's just getting inhibited now. Must be careful, young man. Being chased by Mickey. Mystic Snake. He, he's just going to die. So he just casually dies there. This is a freaking shellacking. My goodness. Stinger. Going to get eight. So they're going to call it GG. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny. Just, he didn't spell it properly. But... Uh, <laughs> On bot lane. Maybe they watch that game and they're like, all right, let's put the timber. Like, timber is always going to be fine against a broodmother. Well, Boxy making a really early rotation. This You don't see this very often. Refraction is there along with the blood grenade. Jim Park goes invisible as apparently Stinger gets first blood on Zai because of this rotation from Boxy. They do get the mid laner, but it costs them poor little Zai on that brood. Has two uproar stacks right now as well as Boxy's making his way over. Parker has already used Meld, so now they can just go on him if they really want. Stinger coming to try to counteract this, but Concussive Shot is there. As Nisha, he is taking a ton of damage. We'll try to relocate himself away. Jimmy Boy he will be able to take out Boxy with the help of Stinger. As Nisha gets off the Onslaught with the Trample. The Avalanche coming from Schofield will turn into the kill on Parker's side. So that gives him some much needed XP and gold. Yeah. So very good start for them again. Very well. Zai, he is going to man fight this one to the grave. Yep. He is just going to continue to get right back Stinger, trying to dodge these spells Ooh, nice from Dark Mago. Does a pretty good job. I have to think that he will eventually drop. Um, even though Dark Mago does not have a Vanguard and only one point in reactive still, just the fact that he can kill all the spiders so easily. May as well just go cut and farm with your Zai. Yep, Stinger, he's going to get caught out as the Onslaught comes in. Doesn't have the trample quite yet, but Polarize is going to be more than enough. Parker is not scared at all, but maybe he should be because he's going to get killed as well. Double kill for Nisha. Consideration if you're making a tier list. Jenkins. Pudge yeah. being up there as well, of course. Yeah. I'll, uh, and Zai, that in mind. Ooh, all his spiders evaporated to Dark Mago. As the blood grenade is going to hit Zai as well. Doesn't have any webs he is that dead, close. Actually. He might just be going down to the Dark Mago's ult. 
but Chakram is enough. And Insania gonna continue to chase with that battery still gets two inside the cogs. Fox is here to support. Stinger is likely gonna die. Let's see if Insania follows suit as well. The Dark Mago does finish him up, but now here comes Nisha. There's the Ancient Seal with the Pulverize. So lots of trades, back and forth action. Yeah, this time was not stolen, for his sake. It looks like this tier one tower is what Beast Coast wants. And Mickey being pretty careful about it. He has a Dragon Lance as well. As we're gonna have a connection towards the triangle here as Boxy getting off his Mystic Flare, which is still invisible to me, but here comes Mars with the first arena of the game. The focus, oh my God. Boxy gets insta-deleted. As the always oh, walking is right over a trap Nisha to get out. Yeah, he's gonna be slowed now. Might be taken out as a result. Another trap underneath, and down goes Nisha. Two big kills for Beast Coast. Oh, they might find another right Zai. But they're gonna smoke up again. Continuing to stay active, our liquid. Dark Mago, he's gonna be the recipient of this gank attempt. Ancient Seal. Onslaught's coming. Down he goes. I. Usually with the Mystic Flare for me, I don't know if it's showing up on stream, but it's like 50% of the time I see it. I haven't been seeing it at all for the last two games completely, like 100% of the time. No, neither have I. Really it, it's it's this, probably the same reason we don't see the Watchers either. <laughs> yeah. well, Zai, all his little spiderlings get destroyed, and now he will follow suit. Buried with his babies. That is. Of course, morbid. Zai would make beautiful babies someday. Yes, yes he would. Schofield, making this tiny look pretty good, actually. Uh, if there's one region you can count on playing the position for tiny and making it look good, it will be it will be South America. Like this region uh, has basically been known to be just insanely mechanical, uh, mechanically skilled when it comes to team fighting. Uh, so playing a hero like Tiny, who has that repositioning element, is the way that they outskill people in fights. You can see the TA getting gone on. That believe that was that Mystic Flare, and Nisha finishes him off with the DD Trample. Newly shown off BKB as well. That was the nine seconder. That's a huge kill though. That's top net worth in the game, and Parker still on top of Mickey by 800 at the moment. Sometimes you morph into these characters that I just don't know where they come from. And I want you to know that is a, a disability if you get checked out. <laughs> Appreciate that. Requiem from Mickey is going to force everyone from Beast Coast back. Both supports for Liquid. In terms of breaking, I mean, it's... I guess technically reactive armor and then Mars's bulwark. And TA side blades. It's actually a really good break game. All three cores oh, don't like being broken on Beast Coast. Into the jungle, Nisha and company go. Mystic Flare with the trample is enough to delete Schofield off the face of the earth. They're gonna get a, a trade onto a support, but now Dark Mago actually misses his Timber Chain. Really be able to get out. Does get the second Timber Chain to actually connect, but not enough distance as he is pursued by Nisha. Don't really have to worry about damage too much when you have a Brood offlane with this kind of a build. Universal hero, as you like to say. Schofield, yep. he's going to get spotted out and pulverized. That'll be the death of him again. Uh, although I say that, he's going for the full pike. He is being greedy, which is a Parker classic. Oh my. Well, Saker definitely had some ambition there. He initiated and then died. Hey, everybody, this is Trent here Funny. with my buddy, Lyrical Dota. <laughs> Oh, Misha gets the jump, Mystic Flare with the Pulverize, and the extra damage coming out thanks to that, uh, the Ancient Seal. Yeah, there's no way to dispel his Ags yet. Oh, Hookshot's gonna miss, but Nisha will not miss his Pulverize until the Avalanche cancels it. Uses the BKB afterwards, along with a newly picked up Aghanim Scepter, which breaks the crap out of the Timber Saw. But he already has the 30 stacks because of the Aghanim Scepter. I like it. First item, uh, it's the first time I've seen that. Uh, maybe this is what Skies are doing these days. I think it's really good because you can stand really far back and then always be in position to follow up on either the Clock Hook or the Primal Hold. So I do really Hold like the back. They got Mickey. That's just the Aegis, though. Liquid 
Coming in with all the babies from Zai. Ready to try to pounce here. There's the Pulverize with the Mystic Flare, I do believe. As Mickey gets off his ult as well. With the BKB as well. So they only get off the Tiny. He's going to buy back into the game now. Dark Mago rocking his reactive armor. As Schofield's going to take massive damage from Nisha. But a big arena onto several heroes. Nisha is getting dropped super fast to Jim Park. Zai is going to be next. That's four dead for Liquid. Great counter initiation. Having a ward. Uh, Stinger would be a very easy kill, although the rest uh, of Beast Coast are there. Yeah, they have four members here. <laughs> Boxy. I think he's going to get spotted here. So, a cheeky attempt from Liquid, but it's punished. Okay, he's going to be found out. Avalanche into the spear. Not able to latch him on anything, though. Insane to try to counter initiate, but the Global Science comes out along with the Arena. Mickey again able to dispel that thanks to the Satanic, but he does not have Requiem of Souls as Dark Mago. Oh, nice Hurricane Pike to the other side. The Dark Mago's reactive armor will not hit anybody, but they have the Avalanche. They have the Toss. They have the Chakram as well as Mickey forced to try to fight his way out of this, but it's not going to happen. Those cost two members of Beast Coast, though, as Nisha has to pop his BKB now. As I assume the TA is the... The sites that they have set, pulverized right on the TA, but the refraction is going to cancel most of the damage. But a cogs onto two, the Mystic Flare to follow. Lots of damage coming out onto the Beast Coast side. They lose four. So great job from Liquid to gain back this fight. They don't get the TA, but everybody else, they do. Give up their entire map to go take it, and none of their heroes can solo it like Parker on TA, who's been soloing his off cooldown. Well, Zai's going to show up top. He's spotted. Avalanche catches him. Spear as well. Finally gets off the BKB after the stuns, but I think they have enough damage. The last right click is enough from Mr. Parker. And Sania looks to be next on their list. Boxy pops the Ghost Scepter. Will be able to TP out. And Sania, no way you're getting out of this, my friend. Two dead for Liquid. And we can see Roche. It's a bit of a later spawn. Another minute 50. So Liquid will have enough time to regroup. Does have backup from a couple of their members. Actually, you can see they're pincering Stinger a bit. Dark Mago now going to show on the lane. Boxy is going to blink out as Nisha forced to BKB and try to run away. But that is way too much physical damage. Parker just rips him a new one. Try to contest. But then again, this is a TA lineup. If they spot that out, which they will be taking out the tier 2 tower top. Or bottom, I should say. And they should be able to steal this Tormentor as well if they really want. As we can see, Stinger is just chilling in the Roche pit. Meanwhile, Zai trying to create some space. It's going to produce a lot of TPs here from Beast Coast side. Schofield's going to take the brunt of the damage from Zai, but Zai is completely surrounded here. There is the arena and the last melt strike from Jim Park. Hmm. Tasty delight. Yeah, it's very That's stupid. Radiant. That's insane. Why is it four seconds? But Jim Park has Enchanted Quiver, which also has a four second cooldown, so he can always hit through the Gossamer Cave. Oh, we're gonna have initiation here. Nice spear onto a couple heroes with the Mars Arena to follow. Looks like Schofield's gonna be the first to fall though, but Mickey getting really low. Pops the Satanic, trying to get off the Requiem, but he gets right clicked into Oblivion instead. And a nice spear catching Nisha. He's able to get to the high ground, trying to TP out himself, but the Rebuke is there. And he will get a kill from the grave with the, the uproar explosions. And he has AC at base, actually. And already a thousand deep into uh, the nullifier to come. Which is another counter to Dark Mago. Who gets dispelled immediately. He pops the reactive armor and gets destroyed. Requiem being faked out. They have the Force Staffs to keep him safe, and here's the Arena Initiation, but the instant Fear on the Sacred is going to disrupt this a bit, as the mass BKBs are lifted here. Disarm right now to TA. She'll have to walk away despite having that BKB activated. So Liquid, they lose one member. Lots of damage being applied to this Primal Beast right now. You can see Sacred. Going to get Hurricane Pike onto the other side, as they will catch Nisha. Tries to get away with that Ogre Seal Totem, but it's not enough. And now Mickey is silenced. Brought up into the air, pops his Satanic, can't really get many right clicks off. Nice avalanche with the right clicks from Jim Park. Four dead. And Beast Coast owning it up now. That was a really well orchestrated fight from them. Looks like they're going to lose yet another, so it's a full team wipe. And now they can go high ground. Yeah. 
And they're gonna get Megas. Liquid are gonna hold on as long as they can to try to defend against these eventual Megas. But still, 16 seconds away from the SF to come back. On extremely low HP, but Beast Coast taking this very disciplined approach. We talked about how important this game is for them. And they're gonna get the Global Silence off. Nisha does get off the Uproar. And the Aghanim Scepter is popped by the Timber as Barker jumps in with the BKB, trying to apply as much pressure as he can. Gets the back strike onto Zai. Has to go to the low ground because he doesn't have an Aegis or anything like that. But he's going to get pursued a little bit by Nisha, but he's in the tree line. He cannot find him. Gets off the Onslaught, though. This is basically the one hero they really need to kill, but that's a dieback for Nisha. Stinger attempting to get out. The Requiem will cancel the TP. He has five He's going to get cleaned up. Relatively a, easily, referring to and primal, yeah, both of them. What do you think of this martyr's plate item? You have to hold that people, thought. People seem to like it. Uh, okay, uh, that's a feed. That's feed yeah. number one from Beast Coast. You can talk about martyr's plate now. It's very exciting. Never mind. They're still gonna fight. <laughs> Nullifier applied. Oh, Zai, he's going to get gone on now, but Dark Mago thinking better of it. There's the initiation from Saker. Pops the BKB, gets the Mars Arena off. Only going to block up a lot of people. To hurt. Okay. Okay, that's the Aegis. That's number one, Mr. Jenkins. Can they get him a second time, though? Will blink out, trying to get out Zai. He does get that kill in the end. There's the Global Science to stop the Pulverize in its tracks. No buyback for Zai at all. Dark Mago is completely out of mana. Let's nullify applied to Boxy. Won't be able to use that Yule or the Ghost Scepter anymore. I know that's a two for two. Very segregated fight as Mickey on the outskirts has to try to save Insania, but that's going to be a triple kill for Mago instead. Insania did have buyback as that is a rapier now on Mickey. They do have to be a bit careful. You can see Parker really wants to fight this as Satanic's going to get Mickey back to full HP. And they can see the Rapier now in tow, but the Hurricane Pike used! Look at the damage applied to Mickey. He's at half HP now. No more Satanic to use. Trying to get this Timbersaw kill at the very least. He's going to be able to get it in the end. And Jim Park, he's going to get feared for the time being, but the Bash Meld comes through. Looks like Insania will be able to pick up the Rapier if he really wants. He's going to go for the kill instead as Jim Park does fall. He did not have the Rapier, though. Insania, surely you will pick this up. Surely. Surely Insania. Okay, Mickey, he's going to take it for himself instead after buying back. It's now a 1v3. The buyback from Jim Park came into the tow. The creeps are ending right now, dude. Yeah, uh, that's going to probably be it. As the fortification came out, Mickey just getting kited horribly.